Hello everyone, welcome to a new video in our Control Environment Agriculture Quick Facts section. Today we're going to learn about organic production. Yes, this topic right now is very popular and also in hydroponics we can do organic production. So let's speak about this topic. Organic production can be very different from traditional horticulture. So in this case, for hydroponic production, we use a nutrient solution formula, right? So when we do organic production, we need an organic nutrient solution. So how can we use these kind of solutions in our greenhouse? So let's learn about the tools that we have available and how to use them. So first of all, let's solve this question. I get this question a lot as a short course instructor and also as a consultant. Uh, can we grow plants in hydroponic systems, organic, and get a certification? Yes, that's possible. Even though there are a lot of debates sometimes, it's possible. There are a lot of companies that already do this kind of production. The thing in here is that for growing plants in hydroponic systems and get a certification for organic production, we need to use uh, all the materials should be from a natural source, including the nutrient solution. In this case, the nutrient solution most of the time is derived from plants and animal material, so natural sources. If you are looking to have a certification for organic production, it's very important to check the requirements. One of the most important requirements is to only use products that are OMBRI listed. So in this case, we're going to present a nutrient solution that is OMBRI listed and is also available in the Hort Americas catalog. So let's explain what is PREM, the nutrient solution that is OMBRI listed and can be used for different crops, especially leafy greens. But wait, just before explaining any kind of nutrient solution that is used for organic systems, let's learn how organic system works. So it's very important to understand traditional hydroponic system and organic systems will be very different. The management of organic uh, fertilizer is very different because it's from a different source. So in this case, uh, most of the time we involve the presence of bacteria or living organisms. So we cannot expect to have like a very linear uh, behavior of the nutrient solution as we sometimes see on a regular or traditional nutrient solution. In this case, we need to pay a lot of attention you need to study the product, you need to get a lot of experience to know how the product is going to behave. And of course, you need to pay attention to your plants and all the parameters that are important at the root zone, including oxygen, temperature, and obviously the nutrients. So just an advice, don't expect to have the same management as a traditional hydroponic system. So now you are ready to learn what is Priam, uh, organic nutrient solution. Before doing any explanation, I have to give credit to Deidre, which is part of the team of Earth Americas. And as I mentioned, it's very important to get to understand the product. So Jerry has put a lot of time trying to understand Priam and is the one providing all the advice. So I'm here just sharing also my knowledge, but uh, all the experience that Jerry has uh, with uh, this product. So uh, Priam is a fertilizer that is created through five stages of fermentation. So uh, here uh, we have uh, some products like natural plant extracts and uh, molasses. Um, this uh, product packs a lot of nutrients and can be used for different crops. Uh, includes uh, humic and fluvic acids as well as an array of vitamins that uh, can uh, provide the nutrients that the plants require. So which are the benefits of using Preamp if we compare this product with other options for organic production? This product is unrelisted, uh, which is very important for certification and not all the products that are made for organic production are unrelisted. Uh, this product is also derived from uh, plant extracts, uh, which make this product easier to manage than other uh, products that are used for organic production. 
Improves ion exchange uh, between plants and water, making the plants easier to take up nutrients. Also, uh, this product is easy to mix. Sometimes when we work with organic uh, solution, it's very hard to get like the product, the product with a good mix uh, to put everything together. So in this case, it's easy to mix. Uh, can be used with a supplemental fertilizers, fungicides, insecticides with no problem. And uh, the pH is four. This is a low pH, which uh, we will also reduce the necessity to reduce the pH. Uh, we know in hydroponic systems, we have a tendency of increasing pH due to the take up of nitrate by the plant. So in this case, um, the, the solution has a low pH, reducing the amount of uh, pH down required in the system. And we have more. This product can completely replace conventional nutrient programs, especially for leafy greens, meaning that the same product will incorporate all the nutrients. It's very common when you work in organic production to have to use multiple products to get the full recipe and all the nutrients that you require. For preempt, we will have to use another product, but this is just to add bacteria and improve the results but you don't need to add more nutrients for at least for leafy greens. So we have a complete nutrition program now. And another benefit is uh, that this product, even though that is organic, is not as hard to manage to other products. So it's more similar to traditional fertilizers, not the same, but it's very easy to manage. Another important benefit is that you can use this product for about 90 days. Of course, if you do everything correctly, uh, you can use the same water for about 90 days without doing any changes on the water you, with, and without discarding the water, which is great. Um, and something that always happens always happen with uh, organic uh, nutrient solution is that sometimes they have precipitation and sometimes they uh, they um, prevent the entrance of nutrient solution because they are inside of the pipes and um, this is a very very common problem so for preempt if you use the product properly you won't have these kind of programs like the clock on a meters uh, it's a kind of rare for uh, preempt when you use the product correctly as I mentioned, uh, Preempt has a uh, full recipe, at least for microgreens. You don't need to add other products to complete nutrition. However, we recommend to use this product with Terravella. So Terravella will add some beneficial microbes that can increase the yield and help you to maintain uh, the nutrient solution in better conditions. So again, you don't need to add other products to uh, complete the nutrition, at least for leafy greens, uh, but we totally recommend to use Terravella with Preempt. So now let's learn how to use Preempt. For this, we are going to do an example uh, thinking on a 300 gallon nutrient solution. So it's very important to follow each of the steps uh, to create the correct uh, nutrition for your plants. Uh, remember that organic production can be a little bit challenging. So let's try to um, follow each of the steps. So if you are working with uh, tap water or city water, it's very important to remove chlorine. Uh, we don't want chlorine where we have bacteria or microbes that can be beneficial to our plants, right? So the first step will be to remove chlorine. For this, you have to fill your reservoir with water, allowing the chlorine to dissipate. Uh, you can include an air pump uh, to try to accelerate the process and to remove chlorine uh, from uh, the uh, prepared inoculant, uh, we need to add one ounce ounces of molasses to a five gallon bucket with water. Uh, after this, uh, we are going to just let the bucket um, stay there for one day and uh, then you will see the next step. So now let's mix the inoculant. So the inoculant will include bacteria, right? So here we're going to use Terravella. Uh, we are going to use two ounces of products per five gallons of chlorine-free water. So this is the water from the bucket that we used the previous day. Uh, we're going to let the inoculant sit for another day before adding to the reservoir. Now uh, we are going to prepare our nutrient solution. 
So per one gallon or prepare inoculant, we can use this gallon in 60 gallons of nutrient solution. So again, one gallon of the prepared inoculant from the bucket can be used in 60 gallons of nutrient solution. Again, here is very important. If you can add an air stone in this step, that will also help. Bacteria is better if you have aeration because you can also get the growth of uh, bacteria that is unwanted on the system. And this bacteria usually reproduce in the absence of oxygen. So now we are ready to incorporate the nutrients. Everything that we did before, it was to get everything prepared to get the nutrients in. So now we're using preempt. How much preempt are we going to use? Let's explain it this way. You need to get the reading of the electrical conductivity from the water source at the beginning. That's very important because uh, you will add preempt until the electrical conductivity from the water source is now one EC above, so plus one. Um, this will take you approximately about one ounce, which is uh, like 30 milliliters of preamp, but uh, it could be like something around this. Uh, so the main idea is to have an EC that is one above the water source. Then for a 300 gallon nutrient solution, you will have to add 300 ounces of preamp which is about 2.4 gallons, okay? So those are the steps to get uh, the solution ready to work. And of course, we haven't finished yet because we need to do maintenance to our nutrient solution. As I was mentioned at the beginning, uh, we need to be open to learn new strategies, uh, to be very precautious with our plants, to look to how the plant is behaving, uh, how the roots are behaving, because uh, a nutrient solution for an organic system is like a living organism. So in this case, based on the experience that we have uh, with growers and also in our greenhouse, um, we uh, can uh, provide this recommendation. It's uh, recommended uh, to add prepared Terravella to the nutrient solution or reservoir every two weeks uh, for at least uh, the first two months. Then, uh, based on the experience that we have with the product, uh, some growers reduce the frequency of Terravella. Um, and for this, uh, they could back to only use once every month or a month and a half. So uh, again, this is based on the experience that we have on the product. And if you look uh, here, we adding more Terravella because we want to add more bacteria because bacteria is very important to uh, be able to uh, let all the nutrients be available for the plant. So uh, we already learned how to keep our microorganisms in the system, right? Like uh, how often to use Terravella. Uh, however, we need to add nutrients. Uh, so what happened with preamp? Uh, we need to, of course, use more preamp through the cycle. So here we're going to try to maintain the same EC as the beginning. Uh, we want to target one EC above uh, the source uh, of water EC. Uh, for this, of course, you need to pay attention to uh, the water volume, uh, to the pH, and also the electrical conductivity. And uh, you are going to add more preamp as necessary to try to maintain the EC target that we have. Um, Good thing about preem, uh, we don't require to regular the to, to regulate pH too much. Um, usually, we use like pH down on a traditional hydroponics. Here, uh, usually, we don't need to use it, so that's that's good because it's very very simple, uh, very simple to manage. Um, other recommendation uh, that is important for preamp is that we have living organisms, we have bacteria, so we don't want to use any kind of product that can kill bacteria. This includes hydrogen peroxide, a UV light, or sun, for example. 
So let's try to avoid all of that uh, so we can keep our bacteria growing healthy. And of course, we don't want other bacteria growing on the system. Uh, the bacteria that usually kills our plants are bacteria that grow under low oxygen. So it's very important to keep good oxygen level and uh, temperature. Remember that temperature can also affect the av availability of oxygen. So uh, let's try to target, uh, to have a good, uh, a good PPM of uh, uh, oxygen on the water. Usually it's between seven or nine. I mean, that's a good number. If you can go above that, that will be great. So more oxygen, um, your plants are going to be happy. And remember, um, if the temperature is getting um, increase, if you have an increase in temperature, you need uh, to check uh, the system uh, that you're using to improve oxygen because sometimes the oxygen can get, can get reduced if you have more temperature on your reservoir, okay? That's important. So it's possible to do organic hydroponic production and it's not that hard if you select the correct product. So uh, for organic production, again, you need to be open to learn new things, uh, to pay attention to your plants, to learn the behavior of a different fertilizer management in this case. Uh, but uh, for with Priam, it's uh, pretty simple in comparison to other options. That's why we have selected this product as uh, the organic fertilizer that we manage in Hort Americas. So I hope you enjoyed this class and with that, I finished this video. Remember, the more you know, the more you can manage. And here in Hort Americas, we work hard so you can learn more and more through our videos or uh, guides that we have also on the website. Go and check our guides. And please subscribe if you would like to keep learning about this awesome world of controlled environment agriculture. Remember, my name is Carla Garcia, Hort Americas Technical Service. See you on the next video.